Hello guys, I haven't done videos like this in a while, but welcome to Disneyland's printer manual at Disneyland's Paris Resort and our content or cultural far away from Walt Disney World and Disneyland and the United States of America. Of course, now printer manual is actually similar to Disney's Haunted Mansion at Walt Disney World and Disneyland. It's kind of annoying, huh? Yeah. Very quiet and peaceful here. I mean, if you ever wanted to stay away from the annoying people, but let's talk about the customers. They're not here right now because they're pretty scared of this attraction, but it's 9 o'clock in the morning and we gotta get going before it gets clouded with annoying guests. Okay, so what we have here is actually the printing manual. I'm going to give you an outdoor activity tour of the printing manual at Disneyland. Now, this is my tourist attraction tour opinion about how the printing manual at Disneyland Paris works like. Now, Paris, this is actually the section where Splash Mountain was supposed to be at, but instead they put printing manual in this section of Frontierland. I don't know why, but this is actually Frontierland at Disneyland Paris. And Frontierland is supposed to have cowboy rides, not hunter rides. But Paris is a place for Tokyo people and society to enjoy themselves. Yes. Now, let's take a tour. So what we have here is the main entrance of the printed manual. Sorry. This is actually the sign of the printed manual. Yes. This is actually, yeah, it's, you can hear the howling doggy sound for the inside of the ride and sneezes and ghostly house of this indoor haunted mansion. But of course, the printed manual that is what it's here for, to scale the creeps out. Now, this is actually the entrance. You go here, the, there are these well wings, of course. But, what you actually do is actually take a tour. Whoa. And you actually get to Whoa. experience hey. going to this mansion thing, or whatever manual. So, um, here we are at the printed manual. Now, this is actually the left side, the participation side. Now, this side is actually where you get to have fun and take a look at the gravestones of people who lived a long time ago and died for doing stupid things and are now on foolish models. Of course, they are now the skill or invisible spirits. Now, they tell you the right description at the left and the both the right side, but we'll go to the left side first. Now, the red lights, of course, they are in order than the playful things. Here's the statue of Creighton or whatever this is on uh, Titan. Um, here's the first great stone by B. Arnold. Arnold, the person who did the tornado, has died completely today. Almost. A vampire fortune teller thing. Um, statue of the Lions. And here are the gravestones. You work here and you will see also a bombing sort of attraction thing. Alright, um, this is Batman's curtain and I mean secrets. Cracked up Georgia gravestone slash assembly hall it's for married people with a bunch of witchy witchy wells. Oh yeah, don't forget the couple who married and this and Churchy, um, this is actually meant for church religion and just people that get married and I mean they go to the churches and ask permission and then they get married. Now this is the guy from the Hunchback of the Main Main, Foyer. Now he kind of looks like him but Foyer is actually dead at Disneyland Paris and it's at the Quentin <coughs> Manual. He burned to hell because of his punishments. And shortly Smith, then we have this open door. It's always been an open door, but it's a dead door, not a real one. The bombing, I don't know what that is, but we'll find out in the ride, as soon as you ride it. Anyways, you go up these stairs, and there you go, there's the printed man. And that's not the exit, the right side, that's, these are both entrances of the ride. Now here's the right side. Yeah, the door is completely stayed open. Yeah, but they sometimes seem to disappear. Yes, now you go here. The Saint Statue, the Saint Arnold Grave. Arnold's the main guy. And here's the other effects and the lights and stuff. Lighting and stuff. And then, like, you go up these stairs, and then finally, you made it inside. You open this 
main door and then you're in. That's it. That is the printed manual key there for Disneyland Paris. When you exit, exit down these stairs and I think you make it out of here or you call here. I mean, an abandoned house well for, I mean, next to the mermaid's wibble at Disneyland Paris we have this so, sort of house for I think. And then finally, we're done for the day. I mean, let's go to this world. Let's see how this place works like at night time. So far, so good. Yes. Wow. Pretty spooky, man. This is kind of nice. And I guarantee you that is 100% um, easily better than the Hunter Mansion at Walt Disney World Resort and Disneyland, but I bet this is cool. I mean, it's a manual, and I mean, if I'm building Mystic Manual replaced by Hunter Mansion, then maybe we can use this manual to be part of the Mystic Manual, but otherwise, it looks kind of abandoned and much better, but this is Disneyland Paris version, not our version. I mean, we want to use a different version instead. So, I mean, this is really cool. Now trust me. Yep. And then we actually ride and it's kind of dark, the orange white thing or whatever. Yeah, and then there it is. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Hope you leave a comment down below if you have any questions about this manual or all of this manual. Or do you think the Haunted Mansion is better than a manual? Or do you think this is actually the best manual better than Haunted Mansion? A uh, mystic manual. Well, thank you all for enjoying this video it's kind of crowded now now at 9 o'clock here thank you and have a good day oh no here comes the epic force what the Pfft. oh man poor pork inspector yep definitely you do not want to do this to any of your pigs unless the dirty in the ground yep exactly you do not want to do this to your pigs it's definitely illegal at the printed map.